Yeah, hey, what's up? What's up? Got another hot science vlog coming for you about carbohydrates. All right, so try to keep it about five minutes. We'll see. We'll see. I'll, have, I'll try to do it quick. Um, so carbohydrates, right? Break that word down. What is that? It's made of carbon and hydrates, right? Hydrates, you know, dealing with water with oxygen and hydrogen. So you see here we'll have a bunch of carbons. Hydrogens and oxygens are going to make our carbohydrates. You know, essentially, what are they? What is their function? Quick energy and structure. And remember, their structure is going to change. If their structure changes, their function changes. Don't forget. So, um, carbohydrates are one of our four macromolecules. That's why we're talking about that. We're going to start with the, the simpler monomer of carbohydrates and work our way up through. Um, one thing to notice about these, right? Um, I don't know, I forgot what I was going to say. Anyway, so we'll move on into to the basic form of these carbohydrates, which are what we have here. We got glucose, fructose, lactose. What these three things are, okay, they are mono, meaning like single or one. Uh, these are mono. Saccharides, okay. Saccharides meaning sugar, mono meaning one. So we have one sugar, monosaccharide, almost like a monomer of saccharide, right? A monomer is a base unit. Um, so these are some examples of our base sugars, right? This is the preferred energy form uh, for you, right? This is the simplest energy form. It breaks down real easy, real easy for the body to use. Now, moving on. Making it a little more complicated. This is a monomer. We know we can bond monomers together to make polymers. All right. So I come in here and I add another monomer. Okay. And what they end up doing, you know, the bonding. I make a bond right here. Okay. And this bond. This bond that holds these two monomers of sugar, these two monomers of monosaccharides together, right? It's called a special name. Glycosidic linkage. Glycosidic linkage is a covalent bond. We'll learn about that later on, but you know, basically glyco prefix meaning sugar or with sugar or something like that. So we have this bond, this linkage between two sugars, glycosidic linkage. And now that these are bonded together, right, and you know, I could go through the, you know, whole process of this, right, but I'm not going to draw all those out for a second time. We have two monosaccharides bonded together. The bond is called glycosidic linkage. The process that it goes through of bonding them together the process that bonds them together is called dehydration synthesis. What this is is when these monomers are near each other, all right? You know, something like you know, and these H's and O's in here or so forth are stripped out. They form water. And water is ejected or lost from the system. So this is making, synthesis means making, we're making something by removing water, right? So that's how this happens. Just know the bond, the process is dehydration synthesis. Good job, bro. All right, so this is a disaccharide. Disaccharides, example of those would be... Sucrose, okay, sucrose is table sugar, disaccharide. Lactose, lactose is in milk, it helps make milk sweet. These are examples of disaccharides, meaning two sugars, two sugars. One, two. Now, 
We can continue this process. Right? We can have another. What, this, what would this bond be called again? Right? What is it? What is it? Glycosidic linkage. We can have another glycosidic linkage linkage that is formed by dehydration synthesis. And we can bond another monomer. And then we can bond another sugar. And then we can bond another sugar. So forth. Adding monomers, adding monomers, adding monomers, adding, you know, adding glucose, adding sucre, or fructose, adding galactose, right? Now, we have more than two. Now we have many. And this thing can stretch out for thousands. So now what we have... My memory in this, my daddy, my down my... Got it, purple? Now we have polysaccharides. And polysaccharides, we start to get in some pretty cool yeah. stuff uh, that we know that sugars do. And there's kind of four examples we'll go into, and we'll know about how these polysaccharides, these big carbohydrates, right? These are small. Disaccharides pretty small. Polysaccharides are big macromolecules, big sugars. And what they do is uh, a couple different things. First is they could be starch. Remember, Structure determines function. All right, so now that we're past this simple stage of structure, now we got a couple different cooler functions. So we got starch. Right, starch is energy storage in plants. Um, these things you eat, they're starches. You ever heard of that? You gotta eat your starch. Potatoes, pasta, bread, stuff like that. It's how plants store their energy. All right, so energy storage. Um, there's two types, okay? You got the long strand starches. They'll be amylose, right? And then you're going to have the branched out starches that kind of look all crazy, right? This is M. Okay, I spell it. Amylopectin. So branched out, much more complicated starch. Um, so we've got two kinds of starches there we'll go into. Um, the other form of uh, this polysaccharide is right, glycogen. Glycogen is in our liver and in our muscles and animals and humans and all that, right? We're all the same thing. All animals anyway. Um, this is how we store our energy and how we use our energy. Other two ways are Cellulose and chitin. Cellulose is the structure used for cell walls and plants. Chitin is the structure used for cell walls and fungi. It's also what the exoskeletons of them critters out in the yard, the arthropods and stuff, um, insects, uh, shrimp. It's a good example. You peel off the chitin before you eat the shrimp. Exoskeleton. Um, that's it. So that's it. That's the rundown of carbs. Went a little long, about eight and a half minutes. Sorry about that. Um, but uh, it was unclear about anything or if I ran too fast through something or I stuttered on my words because I do that a lot too. Uh, let me know. And I'll try to make another one. Tell them bye, bro. Bye. Bye-bye.